Hey everyone, Megan Olivi here in California for the UFC 214 Open Workouts and what a turnout we have had. There are so many fans and media members here. As you can see, Damian Maya is behind me doing a scrum. He is one of six athletes who will be competing in a title fight on Saturday's card and they'll also be working out for us this afternoon. I remember at UFC 200, I, did, I didn't get to meet a lot of people, so I'm going to try to shake hands and sign autographs for almost everybody. <laughs> Open workouts were super great. Uh, I just got to uh, uh, have the opportunity to give back to some of these fans from uh, this area, from around the world. I met a lot of people today. I always had a sour taste in my mouth about UFC 200. You know, all the people were kind of let down, never got a chance to see me in person or meet me. So I thought this would be a step in making up for that. And uh, man, lots of smiles, um, lot of, lots of excited people, and it was it was great. It felt great for me too. Yeah! Ready to reclaim the gold. I know my opponent came out here and signed some autographs. But he didn't work for you guys. I'll work. And I'll sign your autograph. There are a lot of people that sacrifice a lot to come out and watch this. I mean, people can be at work. People can be doing different things with their time. And we appreciate them actually coming out. On a day like today when weigh-ins are tomorrow, how important is it for you to get lifted up by the fans in this situation as well? It's awesome to have people take time out of their day to actually come out, watch us work out, and get an autograph. You don't know what's going to happen, you know? You don't know what this means to someone to actually get an opportunity to experience something like this. No problem. Nice to meet you. That's a cool shirt you're wearing. I'll leave you to signing autographs and kissing babies. DC, best Thank of luck you, to you. And I'm the president. <laughs> Somebody yelled first round submission by the champ. Is that what you're expecting? First round submission, that uh, <laughs> definitely earned me my black belt I've been waiting on. So, um, you know, I'm just I'm just willing to go out there and put it on the line. I'm willing to go out there and take the risk. If I put these pythons around his neck, that I won't put him to sleep. So if the opportunity's there, for sure, I'll go for it. Nobody can stop a great performance. When you go out there and you show your ass off, then 100% the fans are gonna be especially when they're not expecting it. So that's my game plan. I want to see some uh, some jaw drop. I've been in Wopay workouts in the past that was really, really small and now so huge with so many people, it's, it's very cool. So I've been in Anaheim watching fights before UFC. It is crazy and you know, I think Saturday will be even more crazy. That was good, that was oh. good. Got a little sweat in, I didn't plan on sweating. <laughs> I just try to get a little all around, a little workout in, not do too much and not really nervous. I'm not really feeling much. I'm just uh, planning on going out there and doing what I do every time I fight and I just fight. That's pretty amazing. Between the weight cut and fighting so close to home, how comfortable are you heading into this title fight? You know, I just come to hotel, I just focus, you know, I don't stay home. I stay in hotel and, you know, for just think about fight. I feel like I'm in Brazil and then all my fans come and we're very blessed to have nation here.